Tonight at the Keswick Theater, you'll be able to see Jay and Silent Bob's super groovy, super groovy <laughs> mo- cartoon movie. Uh, 8 o'clock tickets at keswicktheater.com. And gang, Kevin Smith is right here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, you sounded like the one who's baked. I know, bro. <laughs> Flipped over that super groupy cartoon poopy. poopy. Yeah. How is everybody doing this morning? We're good. I wanted to ask you about... Um, the, like the Kickstarter uh, stuff. Yeah. It seems that you were at the head of something that has started a fundamental shift in the way this process is taking place. What do you think of the, the Kickstarter stuff? I, I'm all for it, man. I think it's awesome. Uh, I, I wish I had, uh, I wish I was a younger man. I wish I'd been around for the advent of this. Like I was just starting my run. Right. Because then I'd be knee deep in it. Um, we almost did this twice now. We almost did a uh, uh, crowdsource financing. I think it was in 2009 to raise the budget for Red State. Right. Um, because we talked about on episode three of Smodcast, this podcast I do, years back, me and Scott Mosher were sitting there going, what if we got a dollar from everybody on Twitter <laughs> that follows us? We could probably come up with a budget for a movie. Yeah. And then one year later, boom, Kickstart and Indiegogo. A Kickstarter Indiegogo, same kind of thing. So for Red State, me and my friend John Gordon had created this website called Red State Green, which was essentially a crowdsource financing engine. Same thing as Kickstarter or Indiegogo, but focused just on this one movie. And we kept it quiet. We built it over the course of six months. I was up in Toronto doing an interview for Cop Out. And somebody was like, what are you doing next? And I was like, you know, I haven't really talked about it, but we're building this website where we're going to raise the budget for our movie based on the audience because the audience seems to want to see it. Nobody sure. else wants to finance this. And the person in the room, a couple of journalists there, they were like, oh, that's interesting. They wrote a story about it. Two days later, some blogger picked up the story that somebody else wrote and was like, ew, Kevin Smith's going to beg for money for uh, his next movie. Uh, and the 17, 18-year-old in me, the last vestiges of fear <laughs> from high school and, right. and not being my own person or being afraid what someone else might think, seized hold of me, and mm. I dropped the whole thing. I called up John Gordon, and I was like, we can't do this anymore. He's like, yeah, you're mine. We're 20000 bucks into building the website. Wow. I was like, they called me a beggar, dude. Like, I can't do it and he's like first one through the door is always going to take the bullets and i was like i can't i don't know that bullet hurts man i don't want that wow. bullet in my head I and thought, i wish were... i wish i had done it man because we went to sundance with red state like a little while later and standing up there on the stage would have been amazing to be like you know how i did this with the audience behind me but with that time because we had to pull out and whatnot and then rob thomas went first with veronica mars and now zach braff's doing it, it you know i'm gr- i'm happy for them guys uh, those guys i think it's really cool but it gave me time to sit there and go like, you know what? As much as I would love to do this, like I have access to money, yeah. particularly for like the budgets that I'm talking about. Or, or I appreciate these, that. When I made Clerks, I did it on my own credit cards and and like I borrowed some money from my my parents, Scott Mosier's parents. But I was on the hook for that. And and because of that, you try harder, you work harder and stuff. So if Clerks three is meant to be the last uh, flick I make for theatrical release and whatnot, I don't know. I feel like I want to go out the way I came in. Like, we I'm, do have to wrap it up right now, Kevin. Man, but I dude. Always the best. You're you're one of the greatest guests. We always love having you by. And listen, tonight you want to go see the movie. It looks hilarious. Jay and Silent Bob's super groovy cartoon movie. Keswick Theater, 8 o'clock. Tickets at keswicktheater.com. Q&A afterwards. Right afterwards. Podcast Q&A. So it's about a three-hour awesome. experience. Yeah. Awesome. Tell Jay we said thanks. Yeah, I'll wake him up and be like, <laughs> you missed the him. interview. All right. <laughs> Excellent being here. Thanks for thanks, having me. Thanks, Kevin. Kevin Smith, everybody. Hey! Hey! Take a break and be right back. Stay there.